The Idea Lab is really a culmination of a lot of ideas that RIT stands for. It brings together great innovators from all over the college to come up with solutions to real life problems. The Idea Lab takes real problems and we're taking them to RIT and presenting them not to just one discipline but to multiple disciplines across the RIT student base. We have a wonderful array inside of RIT of technology, design, art, business, communications. We can bring them all together to solve problems. So the Idea Lab was really an opportunity to take two sides of the equation. One is we have partners that have real problems that we want to solve for them because we're working with them. And the other is that we have students that when you put them together at a unique team, experientially we can go out and we can solve those problems. And then we spend a weekend solving the problems, or at least brainstorming. So over the course of the Idea Lab weekend, we have the sponsor who comes from industry. In this case, it's from Rochester General, and then it's a medical professional. And we have students that have diverse backgrounds that say, you, you have this problem. Here's how we can solve it. Then, if the sponsor really likes what they hear, and the students are really jazzed about, hey, we can solve this problem in a multidisciplinary way, then we do an innovation semester where we provide course credit for those teams to work even closer with their client, with their sponsor, to solve the problem and have a prototype of sorts. From the RGH perspective, we see these young students who absolutely are, they are very bright and they're very creative, they're very innovative, and they think outside a box that we would never think in. The project that they assigned was, uh, it was a blood transportation, um, and they were just talking about the phlebotomy department, uh, specifically home draws, and uh, actually creating something that would reduce lab error. So what the phlebotomists do is they collect a blood specimen on a patient and then move to the next patient, and within an hour or two window, they'll drop off the specimens to be processed at one of our patient service centers on the road. This can lead to some delay because the, the specimens are collected and sat, they sit with the phlebotomist as they make their rounds to the next patient. We had no concept of what solution would work the best. The whole group came up with the idea of having a mobile centrifuge that is a universal design for all the passenger seats. The mobile centrifuge allows the phlebotomist to actually process the specimen and separate the cells from the serum while either driving or at their stops. So now they don't have to make their way to one of our patient service centers located around the county. We spin them now is because uh, on the road, because it takes a while sometimes for us to get them back. This will just make their lives easier, especially for the phlebotomist um, in the car. You have the base, which fits in the car seat, which holds the ice packs. The ice packs mainly keep the blood samples cool. And then you have the dividers that go in the base, which is separate where the samples are. And then you have the top plate, which holds the centrifuge. And then the doors, which they open individually, so you can take each row samples out. Yeah, that's lighter than they bag that they carry their supplies on. Yeah. We're, we're one department, you know, in Rochester, New York, that's struggling with this, but this is going to be a national change that, you know, more and more um, work, blood work, you know, all different sorts of ancillary services in the hospital are going to be performed in the, in the home, and so inventions such as this are, are, are going to be needed in order for people to be able to <clears throat> safely provide care. I don't know if you guys realize how you know, meaningful this really is to us because this is this is a big deal. You know, be able to, to, to get something that will actually make a big impact. I think on, on you know the way we we operate with the group dynamics. That was a really cool part um, in figuring out because um, besides this, I've never really had a chance to like work with people in different majors, and so it was really interesting to see um, how other people think because I've never approached a problem through a business side or through an industrial design side, and I'm very scientific and medical in the way that I approach things. People from different backgrounds come to the Ideal Lab and it's a really good experience of collaboration with other students and real clients and um, um, RIT support the group to achieve their goals. We're giving win-wins to everybody. The students win, our partners win, the educational process wins. This is in, in essence what kind of the modern university should be doing. And our hope is that we can expand this and do more of these.